and the Bodrock was born April 9th. And the meat birds we got the 20th. So they were they were probably born the 19th or Pluto, sit down. Or the 18th. So they're about say 10 days older. The Cornish Cross is about the same size as the Bard Rock, height-wise, but they're a lot plumper. What, what's up, modern steaders? We haven't talked much about a comparison with the Cornish Cross and the Bard Rock chicks. So let's do a quick little video this morning on that. The Bard Rock chicks were born on April 9th. And the Cornish crosses, we got the 20th, so they were probably born the 19th. So they're 10 days apart in age. Let me get a Bard Rock for you. We got a Bard Rock right here. It's all feathered out. Put it in with the meat birds. And you can look and you can see that it's the same size height and everything as the Cornish crosses, but what the camera's not showing is the Bod Rock is slimmer than the Cornish crosses. So about a week and a half of an age difference, and they're already the size of the Bod Rock, except the Bod Rock is all feathered out. And just about ready to go outside. It's got all its feathers except for on the back of its neck. <laughs> the cornish are picking on it. Pluto, it's not a nugget for you. There's the water we're using for them. And you can see that the water's nice and clean still. I know this is kind of a cheap test. So we're going to pick up the Cornish, and now we're going to pick up the Bod Rock. Yeah, I wouldn't say double the weight, but the Cornish weighs a good third as much of the Bod Rocks. These guys, hey buddy, guys have been eating and drinking like crazy. They put off some crazy body heat. I'll close the glass lid and I leave it open a little bit. And you can actually see that fog up a little bit from their body heat. It's crazy how warm and how much body heat they put off. But as you can see, these guys are only half feathered out, but they weigh a ton. They're growing like quick little T-Rexes. So until tomorrow, guys, we'll see you right back here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.